Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you for watching. So back at the end of August, I created a video about using resin to do inlays in a, a, a board. It, it could be anything, but in this case, it was a board. And so I got a couple questions on that video about how to do it, and I promised to do a follow-up video, and this is that video. So I'm gonna kinda try and walk you through the process of doing the resin pour. Um, I'm not going to go through the process of doing the cutout of the board using the CNC machine right there. Um, if you want to get more details on that, I will link videos above here. Uh, I have a couple, well, many videos actually about making inlays and how to do the pocketing and the the, the tool pass. Um, I also have a whole video series, by the way, of how to do uh, CAM work, uh, computer-aided manufacturing work using Fusion 360 uh, for something like the X-Carve here. And I will link that as well. Uh, I'll be honest with you, it hasn't gotten too many views, but I found it useful. I actually refer to it every now and then when I have, you know, short-term memory loss and I've forgotten something. Nevertheless, um, I'm going to uh, kind of walk you through, I'm gonna show you kind of uh, some videos I made while I was doing the pour and do a voiceover of the video uh, to kind of show you what was uh, what I was doing. And then I will show you the outcome, which turned out, well, pretty spectacular actually. So let's go ahead and uh, cut over to the videos. Here I am putting the epoxy into the cup. It's one pump per part A and part B. Mix it up very, very well. And then I put the brush in and mix the brush in really well. And then I'm brushing the epoxy into the pocket. If I were to do this over again, I would have covered the entire surface to fill in all of the, the marks in this white oak, which is kind of a very porous wood. What you see here is the red pigment that I'm going to use and then the white pigment that I'm going to use. I start with the white, uh, make a, a good amount of white into the epoxy and get that nice white pearlescent that I'm looking for. And then I add a little bit of red, mix it up, check the color, and then it turns out that I add a little bit of red again and again to get the color that I was going for. Now, in the end, I actually ended up with something that was a little bit more bubblegumish than I wanted. But you can see as I'm pouring it into the pocket here, it actually looks uh, very good. Uh, you can see the white pearlescent coming through. What I'm doing here now is using a little scribe tool to make sure the resin gets into the corners really well and uh, trying to pop any air bubbles actually. I should have used the heat gun, but I didn't. Uh, in this case, I just went through and I made these nice little swirls and it gives a nice pattern to the, the resin, but I was hoping it would pop the air bubbles down in the bottom, um, but it didn't actually in the end, but it wasn't a huge deal. So here's a picture close up of uh, the dried product. You can see the nice little swirls. And then another close up here where I'm just panning up the length of the part. Uh, in this case, it's Myla. Okay, so here is the sign held up by my lovely significant other. It is Myla with the pink inlay and the oak background. So that was pouring the resin and then showing you the results. I really hope you liked this video. Um, I found uh, this particular technique to work out very well. The one thing I will note is I still think using the heat gun to pop the bubbles even though we prepped the wood is a useful tool. I did notice after I planed and sand there were some bubbles in there that I wasn't really expecting. In this particular case, not a big deal. but. I would recommend using the heat gun anyway. Um, the number or the amount of bubbles, significantly less, that's for certain, um, by prepping the wood this particular way, but just let you know that I think it's useful to do it anyway. All right, with that, if you like the video, thumbs up, I would appreciate it. If you don't like the video, you know what, give it a thumbs up anyway, just because. Don't forget to ring that bell, subscribe, do all the magic, really appreciate it. Um, any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'm happy, more than happy to answer any questions or comments. Um, the more interaction we have, the better the channel does. 
All right, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for making it this far. And don't forget to be inspired. Have a good night, everyone. Hi, hello, I am the Cyber Roof Guru. <clears throat>